Hey everybody, I hope you're all doing well out there wherever you are in the world. So I wanted to make a short video of how to warm up basically using traditional media. And this is something that a lot of artists forget to do. Warming up for art and for drawing and painting is as essential as doing any other kind of warm up. It helps to get your hand-to-eye coordination working properly and also it helps you know your wrist just get used to the movements and the motion that you will be doing when you are drawing or painting so basically it's very simple what i do some of these techniques i learned from the gnomon school a few years ago i begin to i pick up a pencil and you know it could be anything could be a pen or you know a colored pastel or something and I begin by drawing these ellipses and I go both in clockwise and anti-clockwise direction now not everybody does this they prefer to just go in one direction clockwise is usually what people do and I like to do both I find it just gives me a little bit more freedom and range and choice in my movements of strokes and so what I'll do is, is I will fill out a page like this where I just do a lot of ellipses and circles and I fill in the gaps with more ellipses and also straight lines now it's important to draw straight lines as well you want to be able to draw basic architectural elements and shapes in 2D space, representing 3D space, freehandedly without having to use a ruler. This just helps speed up the process and I also think it helps you train to see things better as well as an artist. So I basically just use very cheap print paper for this exercise, which really doesn't cost anything. And I will flip the page over as soon as I've finished and begin again and this time I'm just drawing different length lines I as you can see I don't commit to the stroke straight away I if I'm going like if I'm doing a big stroke like this I will what's called ghosting I'm sure there's other terms for it as well where you just move your arm your elbow in the direction of the two points that you make on the paper and in your mind without actually drawing on paper first. An invisible line between the two points before committing with the actual pencil on paper. And this helps you to improve your ability to draw straight lines. And for that particularly, you don't actually need to draw in multiple directions. Actually, it's not recommended at all that you do do that. So you improve your muscle memory by going in one direction and you can just rotate the paper if you want to change the direction of your lines instead of actually choosing to draw a line down or left or right and it's generally advised that you do each stroke pushing away from your body instead of towards because you have a much greater control of that stroke but maybe some people will have a different experience with that Another exercise I like to do for my warm up is called skating, where you hold the pencil in the overhand position and draw the figure eight over and over again, both clockwise and anticlockwise, for at least one minute, up to three or even five minutes. This technique should help you feel much more prepared and ready to draw accurate marks and gestures. I find it particularly useful as an exercise warm up before gesture or figure drawing. By using the overhand technique, you can get a broad range of strokes of tone by applying the least amount of pressure. This is a great technique if you want to cover large areas of tone quickly on the page. You can also achieve a smooth gradation and layering of tone by applying the same amount of pressure over the existing layer. I also like to use this technique to draw in the rhythm or gesture of the thing I am drawing. Which leads me on to my next tip about how to hold your pencil for drawing. Now, another thing I would like to talk about is how you hold your pencil when you're doing 
these kind of drawing warm-up exercises because there is a number of ways you can hold your pencil and you can create completely different strokes and different kinds of line weight so you should experiment with different positions and not always do the typical grip that um, people do when they are writing in a book for example you can hold the pencil very lightly and you probably should when doing these exercises to the point where you have control of what you're doing but not a tight grip so if somebody was to touch the pencil and not try to knock it out of your hand it could easily fall out you want to take care of your wrist and if you have a tight grip all of the time you're probably going to be doing some damage to your muscles or your tendons in your arm and wrist over a long period of time so there's no need for it really you can have a light grip and do different line weights and also experiment with different softness and hardness of pencil so that is the end of this video i hope it was useful and i hope you picked up a few little good tips it's important to you know do these warm-ups pretty much every day if you have the intention of doing some drawing for the rest of your day just getting your wrist loose and getting used to the movements of drawing you know circles ellipses squares you know all of the basic shapes it's definitely gonna make you more accurate and more able and just make the process a lot more enjoyable when it comes to drawing something um, more fun and something that you actually want to and need to draw if it is a job so thank you so much for listening and watching please do subscribe to my channel for more videos and feel free to comment if you have any suggestions and one other thing i have a patreon account now so if you'd like to support me there it is greatly appreciated and it will encourage me to make many more videos and create lots more artwork so thank you very much and i will see you next time